I chose to do peace building work because there was no alternative. Growing up, there was always some form of conflict across the country. And for me, the tipping point came during the LRA war. Children were abducted in their thousands to become child soldiers. The girls had the double tragedy of being first wives in the LRA. I was asked by the parents to advocate for the unconditional release of children. They were in their thousands, and then the reintegration. We as parents were equally traumatized. She was always reminding us that our daughters might be coming back with additional family members. And it is very important for us to accept. Domestic violence hadn't stopped. Things were happening unrestricted. So that made me start a social enterprise called Facilitation for Peace and Development to address the gap that happens during emergencies where the everyday business of government tends to be suspended. By 2020, we had up to 16,000 cases peacefully and sustainably resolved through our legal aid deaths. The children born of war, they're beginning to speak out on their own. The communities are listening to them. Anybody matters in peace building because if they're not part of that, then they become the weakest link to the peace building agenda.